Hi everyone, in this video, we're going to use calculus to prove that the area of a rectangle is A is equal to the base times the height. So in calculus, there is a formula to find the area under any function or curve. So let's say we have this function f of x, and we want to find the area under this function from A to B on the x-axis. So this area right here. Now the area formula is A is equal to the integral from a to b of f of x dx. Now let's draw our rectangle and let's say that rectangle has a height of h. So all we have to do is draw a function or a line like this where f of x is equal to h. Let's draw the base. So let's say this is our base here. So at this point will be the base and this is the origin so if we draw everything together, you can see that here is going to be our rectangle. Using our formula, we can say that the area of this rectangle is equal to the integral from a to b, and a is 0, b will be right here, so it would just be b, and then f of x is equal to h, where h is a constant, and dx. So if we solve this integral, then we will be able to prove our area formula. So let's go ahead and solve this integral. Now, you can think of this as 1 times h. So because h is a constant, we can move it outside of the integral. So we have h times the integral from 0 to b of 1, so 1 dx. And using the fundamental theorem of calculus, we have f at b minus f at 0, where f of x is the indefinite integral, so the, the integral of 1 dx. And what is the antiderivative of 1 dx? It's just going to be x plus c. Now we need to find f at b. So f at b, we simply replace x with b. Now here you don't need to add c. You don't need to write plus c. So f at 0 will be just 0 itself. So continuing on, we have h times f at b, which is just b, minus f at 0, which is 0. And this gives us b times h, or the base times the height. And so we prove that our area is equal to the base times the height. And that's basically it for today. In the next video, I will show you how to use calculus to prove the area of a triangle, a square, and a circle. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below.